It is what it is. Most of the time, you hear that phrase when someone experiences something bad. They can't really do anything about it, so they just accept. It is what it is. It could also be used to express the feeling of, eh, it's alright. Getting a passing grade in the exam, but only slightly above the required mark. For me though, I've taken the saying to just not take things personally. I'm a Gemini, I'm an Aquarius rising. I don't actually know anything about astrology. What I do know is, I tend to think people have it for me the worst. <coughs> kind of weird though. Someone could text me everything with proper punctuation and grammar, but I would still take it negative. I'm speaking only for the Gen Z Filipinos, but it really is weird to talk to a stranger without the obligatory. <laughs> I try to avoid using it as much as possible because I emote in real life what I text, and nobody wants to see a stranger smiling at their phone. Taking things people say and twisting it to fit the narrative in your head that they all hate you is pretty narcissistic. The same could be said for the opposite. <laughs> you know, somebody just being nice to you and taking it as pretty bitch now. Nobody cares more about yourself than yourself. Negatively and positively. Being seen in the group text is frightening. Why won't they reply? They're only reacting, but can't you guys reply? Can't you guys stop? Yeah, these people are too busy caring about themselves to ever care about you, babes. That's sad, but also cool at the same time. It just depends on how you look at it. Like, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Take it positively. Most of the time. Those feelings, they never think away. Acknowledging it though, knowing the reasons why you're feeling what you're feeling, makes it more bearable and doable.